All right. So hopefully some of you will get it from the clue. Um. Yeah, it's a good old point and click game. Here's something I can do. I'm not going to say that I'm going to have any success doing it by myself, anyhow. But yeah, it's a nice, relaxing game that'll completely make you lose your mind. So here we go. I don't even know if I need to do commentary while playing. Um, okay, I guess I can't do this with point and click. This actually is a keyboard driven game. So, back to the keyboard I go. Seriously, I have no idea what I'm supposed to take from all this. Obviously this is some kind of weapons and or torture chamber. Um, huh. This game doesn't have a jump button. Wait. what it looks like sitting on the, um, the throne here. Um, can I pull the curtain or something and see? I guess there's nothing behind the curtain. Okay, so this is capable of being driven entirely from keyboard, so let's do that. Or not. So what I figured out last time I was here, and I don't think you guys were here with me, is that there's this weird little room down here. Um, at least there's a chamber in the middle. And this chamber is linked to a control room of some sort. Um, if I hit this button, I can elect to go into this control room thing and take a look at this and see whether or not um, the door is linked. Let's keep trying. Let's see, I can link that together. And then go over here and observe nothingness of all kinds before electing to get out of the control room. And go around and See here, we've activated some kind of chamber. Is there not any upper more chamber to explore here? All right, so. Oh. If I remember right, there's... I don't know. I don't really remember this area very well. Um, but I can activate the flashlight. And see, like, hey look, here's a gear. Hey look, here's, I don't know, some kind of elevator shaft thing. Although, what's the loose gear for? 
and why can I not take it? Like, if that gear's not affixed to anything, uh, why not? Is it just for decoration, or...? Okay, what's this over here? It's just a metal wall. As far as I can see, there's nothing here, right? So, I don't know, I guess I just keep walking around. And since there's nothing here, I just go back in the elevator. Wait, is there a five second delay there? What happens if I trigger that and then walk out? Hey, look, I found something. Alright, so I got two dials, right? No. Okay. What happens if I turn off my flashlight? Can I interact with these dials? Not really. Can I interact from this side? No. a button. This is a button. Can I press it? Oh! That... Okay, that reactivates the elevator. Now, that only seems to work at the top floor. Is there anything to observe up there? Nope. I do see that there's two dials in a down position. Um, apparently I can't interact with any of this. At least the game makes it clear what I can interact with and what I can't. Um, and here's the elevator shaft again. It's pretty much the only thing I can do in this room is just move some of the elevator back up. Unfortunate. Um, all right. Assuming I can like walk around this pillar thing. Um, yeah, and I just push the button and step off the elevator, and it goes back up. Okay. I can go down. After I've gone down, can I activate this button? No. This button sends me back up, but when I'm on the top floor, it doesn't do anything. And on the bottom floor, if I hit down again, nothing happens. Okay. Uh, flashlight would be useful, maybe, so I can see all the things that I can't touch, or all the things I can touch which don't do anything. Um, let's see, what do I do next? It's another fun little room. Oh, 
look at this. One fancy chamber. Alright, can I interact with uh here? Okay. So I don't see a damn thing out of this telescope. Am I supposed to? I don't know. Got a clock which says it's either, yeah, probably 3.35 p.m. or 7.15. Or I guess a.m. or p.m. But 3.35 or 7.15, I don't know which. Um, yep, and then we got this platform out here. these gears and this is the place by which we warped in uh, and this is the bridge by which I managed to I don't even know what I did okay I don't need my flashlight on outside though plus half moon thingy, thingy, whatever. Let's try this. Or this, or this, or one of these. Look at all these combinations of things we can try. I don't have a clue what any of them do. Um... Maybe none of them do anything at the moment. Is there any iconography up here? Not really. I mean, there's... Okay, I mean, you could choose left or right. I don't see any icons anywhere. Um. Oh yeah, look at that bird. It's just dancing away. So, I don't see any symbols of note just looking around just from a casual point of view perhaps there are symbols to note I don't know um, uh, yeah, this game just leaves you puzzled and then I could walk around again elevator on the right, which we've seen before. And what else is there? It's the torture chamber. Is there any pattern or symbol here? Well, it's just a few maces. crossbow. So there's three maces, a crossbow. What else? Some swords. Ooh, that does not look pleasant. I really don't like that. Um, anything over here? So three maces and a crossbow I found here. Fortress Rotation Simulator.
Okay. Let me turn off my flashlight. Let's try the Fortress Rotation Simulator. I don't know whether to be happy or disappointed that it told me that this was a simulator for that. Okay, so if I have both knobs all the way up, then this rotates at full speed, I guess? And if I, like, throw this one knob in neutral... Wait, what's that? So if I throw it in neutral... Okay, and if I throw this down and rotate it, nothing happens. If I put it all the way up and then I rotate it, it doesn't seem to converge on anything. Interesting. So I need to time the rotations, I guess, is all I'm gathering from this. Um... I'm not sure what else to know. Does it always reset to that down position when I start it? Uh, no. It resets to my last set position. I think this initially started facing down. Right? Or does this always start facing up in the simulator? No, it remembers my last used position. So... Okay. That's kind of cool. Uh, I don't know why I learned anything other than it's possible to rotate fortress somehow. And here we are, back at the entrance again. So... I don't know what to do. There's all kinds of fun symbols. Um, How many symbols are there? If I start with the plus sign, because that's most memorable to me. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so assuming there are ten on each of these, that means there's ten thousand possible codes to enter. Um, so my odds of randomly guessing it, if there is a select code that I'm supposed to enter, are virtually zero. Or to be more precise, one in 10,000. Uh, at least per unique guess. Um, now presumably if I were to guess it correct, I would stop guessing. So my odds of um, each guess being correct increase ever so slightly each time I press a button. Assuming, of course, that's what I'm supposed to even do at this time. Which I don't know. Maybe it's not. Is that a chessboard? Is that a chessboard? Come on. If that's a chessboard, I need to know.
Uh. That doesn't fit in this world at all. It's too joyful. No, seriously. What the crap? Uh, okay. So there's colorful gems or stuff here. Um, plenty of paintings and I wonder if this is capable of being interacted with. No, it doesn't look like it. Um, a fancy little ship there. Um, I wonder, do you suppose that that torture chamber also has a chest set? Or does it have chest pieces? What's this down here? Okay, there's nothing there. Um, uh, there's the Fortress Rotation Simulator again. Oh, look, I found a thing. I'm terrified. Not even gonna lie. Uh... Oh gosh, is that a head? Please tell me that's not a head. I can't see it from this close or this far away, but I also can't interact with it. Um, what is that? No, seriously, what is that? I can't tell what it is. It looks... I wish I could tell what that were. The game won't let me approach it any closer. Um, I doubt that my flashlight's going to help me figure this out, but... Some kind of ceramic thing? A whole bunch of bottles with skulls on them. A bowl. And a pestle. Okay. I don't like the feeling that that door closed. Uh, I don't like that one bit either. Yeah, I'm more than a bit terrified being here. And still, I haven't answered any questions about where I'm at, what I'm doing. In some ways, it would be mercy if the game would just say, you know what, you're done. Um, that's that. Okay, so... It's some kind of electric cage. Um... Hmm... Yeah, I don't know that I can make anything more of this. Oh, okay, I have a better understanding of what this is now. It's a torturer's mask. Um, assuming it is a mask and not something more terrifying. Is 
Is there anything back here? Nope. There's nothing in the cage. Nothing around the cage. Just lights in this room. An electric cage. A hatchet. Um, can't interact with the hatchet, although I don't see why not. Like I'm practically right on top of it, and I still can't touch it. Um, Alright, so that's special. Please don't make me go back in there again. Uh, is everything placed where it used to be placed? I don't remember this. There's so much just haphazardly strewn about. Uh, not pulling my chain, are you? Because I can pull the... Oh, never mind. Okay. Oh. It's a little viper inside of a music box sort of thing. Great. Feel right at home. Um. Okay. Well, that's unsettling. Um, is there anything else I can interact with here? I had no idea this is all so upsetting or unsettling. Um, one thing that puts my mind a little bit at ease is I've never heard of anybody dying in this game. But, you know, there's a first time for everything, and maybe I'd find a way to do what nobody else has done. Doubt it, but maybe. Okay, also, I don't need my flashlight on anymore. There's some shortcut for this flashlight. I think it's just F. Yeah, it's just F. I don't need to go back to the menu every time for that. Um, okay, well... Definitely getting a vibe of there's Tale of Two Kingdoms or something going on here. Where um, one is about prosperity and one is about suffering. Uh, I still have no idea what the code is. I mean, I could guess, maybe. Didn't see any plus sign, or half moon, or... I did see one of those. Um, didn't see any of that, or that, or that. Okay, so this little shader effect is... Um, uh, what am I doing? Let's just try... <laughs> let's try that. I would be stunned if this were the answer. Prepare to be stunned. Yeah, okay, that's not the answer. Unless... No. Okay, well... This game is confusing. There's definitely many hours of gameplay involved. And to me, it's one big, great mystery. Um, honestly, I have no idea how to solve this. Um, so... You know, other than starting over and choosing not to go into this world, I'm not sure what else I can do. Um, I could reset the position of the elevator again. I don't think anything came of that when I did it last time. But it is an option. There's no need to line up the elevator. And I could have sworn that somehow, somewhere, something I saw... Um, 
when it's exactly inverted like this. Um, namely, with the opening facing the reverse direction. I could have sworn there was something significant about that. Uh, I don't remember what. Actually, what if there's a password or something shown on the elevator itself? Um, that would be helpful. Let's take a look. I wager that this is not the case at all, but, you know. In for a penny, in for a pound. Let's, let's not go back to the menu. Let's just use the flashlight this way. Um, nope, nothing of interest here. Okay, is there anything... Does rotating that rotate more than just the elevator? I mean, now we're really going out on a stretch. Um, but maybe rotating that somehow affects some of the weird secrets I find. Um, let's give that a try. So back in here, I have to go. Yeah, I don't see anything additional in here. So that said, um, I don't know what else to do. You've definitely stumped me. Um. I guess I could keep going around and around until something happens. That's an option. Is there anything over here? Nope. I thought I saw some gap there somewhere, but I just imagined it. So, let's try this again. I could have sworn this is playing the holly and the ivy or something. It's a really nice tune. Let's play it one more time. I mean, contrast that with the scary music box on the other side that reveals some kind of snake. Um, and I think, I mean, that's the contradiction somehow. I don't even know, like, what it contradicts, but it's a Chekhov's gun. The fact that you've got a chessboard that plays music, and then you got a music, bowl, uh, music box here. That definitely does not play music. That's all it does. It's just that. I mean, what happens if I do that and make a run for it and try to activate the chessboard and then make a run for the music box thing again? I have a feeling it's not going to do anything. I have a feeling that those two together don't... I mean, it seems really weird having a chessboard that plays music. And then a music box, um, which has some kind of war object in it. But I don't see that actually changing anything. It's just an idiosyncrasy. But if I were to hide something, maybe I would hide it that way. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where else to look. Um, I'll call this chamber a shambles. What's that up there? Just a light that's not lit. 
this one poorly lit chamber. Really, they could go for some new feng shui and new lighting and such. Um, so, yeah. I'm just so confused. There's nothing here, of course. This is where I entered uh, this era. Yep. Well, absent any suggestions from the audience um, or the viewership, I am just going to call this game here because I'm confused. And further explanation, exploration is not in any way helping my confusion. Um, so, so, so. That was fun. I could just keep hitting random buttons. Boop, 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 boop. How many times would I have to push these buttons to get something to happen? Well, assuming random luck, maybe about 5,000. I'm not going to sit here trying it, and I'm not going to open up a strategy guide, because it's more fun to explore the game and see what happens. So thanks to all for watching, and I uh, hope to see you around.